Boom, boom, boom. Hey, this is Jared, and I'm back. Hey, listen, I'm so happy to go live from Ed Limon's page. Ed, man, I'm so happy for this guy because uh, I, I interviewed him on Warrior's Quest just a couple of weeks ago, pulled on my heartstrings, and I just felt connected uh, to him and Rachel and his whole his whole you know, family and support system that he has. So, uh, man, I, I wanted to come live today on his page, and I'm so ecstatic. I'm happy to do that, and I'm happy to bring on a, a great guest, somebody that I rub, I've rubbed shoulders with in the kidney disease community, and I'm, I'm bringing him on because he's a kidney warrior who's who's had his own battle with kidney disease, still doing it because there's no cure, but he's a kidney transplant recipient. Uh, and I'm happy to bring on uh, Manny Ramirez. So I'm bringing him on now, folks. Bring, welcome Manny to Ed Limon's page. What's up, Ed Limon's page? <laughs> Very nice, man. I'm so happy that we were, we're able to connect because – when we first, uh, you know, when we first interacted, uh, you know, we had a mis misunderstanding where I didn't understand that you were a transplant recipient. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't really necessarily in the beginning bring you on to Warrior's Quest because we were first starting out on that page. And I was trying to get people that were, you know, looking for a kidney donor. But, you know, now that uh, the Warrior's Quest is up and running, we're going to I may bring you on that page as a co-host. We're we're actually doing a lot of different things now that it's up and running. We have over a thousand, you know, followers. So I'd love to bring you on as a co-host if you're interested. Would that be okay? Yeah, I, I, that would be amazing, actually. Yeah. Great, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm I'm glad that we're able to connect now. Uh, and as I said, Ed, he was on my uh, show Warriors Quest just a couple of weeks ago, and so. Um, I'm glad to bring you on his page uh, and get your side, uh, you know, kind of introduce you and hear from maybe your experiences with kidney disease. Would you introduce yourself to everybody and kind of, you know, let people know where you come from? Yeah, yeah, of course. So I'm, I'm Manny Ramirez, um, not the baseball player. Yeah, okay, <laughs> baseball shirt not man um, rim so, yeah 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 so uh, i'm out of out of houston and um uh 41 and uh uh a, a husband going on 19 years now a daddy of three kids um and, and just a, a a kidney warrior man I've, I've been um dealing with this now since 2016 uh or late late 2015 uh into 2016 um when I found out I had it stage renal disease, um, no, no idea at all. I mean, I, I went to the very end, uh, not knowing that I had kidney disease. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so, so you, had, it was, you, you weren't aware of it in the beginning. No, no. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a hard headed Mexican. Um, <laughs> and some, people, some people will get the joke. I mean, we, I was, you know, just too manly, you know, to masculine, toxic masculinity. To go to the doctor. I mean, yeah. I, I just was head headstrong, um, mm -hmm. and and just worked, worked, worked uh, until literally I couldn't work anymore. All right. Um, my wife and I went to lunch that the, the day that I went to the hospital, uh -huh. um, and I told her I said I need to go to the ER. I think just to uh, get them checked out. Maybe I need a, a B twelve shot or something. So um, so I I dropped her back off at work, and I went to the ER and uh, coming to find out. They drew some blood, uh, checked my blood pressure, and asked me to sit down. And I oh, said, "Why? Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm standing up talking to them." Yeah. And uh, my blood pressure was two thirty four over like one thirty two. And uh, wow. Yeah. So they said, "Please sit down." I said, "I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. What, what's up?" They're like, no, you, you're like stroke level. Like, you could literally have a stroke right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, so wow. sure, I, I, they scared me. I sat down. Uh, they drew the blood. Uh, they put me on an EKG machine. Uh, and at that time, I started freaking out uh, because I had just taken my wife back to work. Um, okay. So I'm there alone. And, and this is all happening so fast. Uh, they drew the blood, came back real quick. I'm on the EKG machine and in walks a nephrologist. 
Uh, and he said, Mr. Ramirez, um, your hemoglobin is at a, is at a five. Uh, five or, yeah, five. Five, wow. five and a half. Uh, which is your red blood cell count. So basically, my, your kidneys reproduce red blood cells. Uh-huh. And uh, they weren't doing that. So they immediately, um, he told me that I was in state neural disease uh, and my kidneys were shot. So here me being just ignorant, not, not knowing anything. I said, okay. hey, what, what can I, right. what can I, what can I do? Can I do, <laughs> wow. can I do like a cleanse, like a, 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 a fruit cleanse or veggie cleanse <laughs> right. you know, like, to jump start it up again. Uh-huh. And, and he's like, no, no, you're beyond that. You're beyond that part. It's time for dialysis, you know? And, um, Oh, wow. So many, wow. Look, a lot uh, of stuff. Let me, let, let me let me try to grasp what's going on right here from what you're from what you're telling me is that yeah you're you go and you're meeting with him and he's you know he you think maybe okay I'm sick okay you know I may I may have to take some medicine or something mm-hmm. and he's telling you information that that you know that, that is kind of different i mean you know it's foreign uh, to me yeah right exactly foreign you know that it's it's not necessarily something that may be registering to you and mm-hmm. that's got to be that's got to be a little odd like uh surreal you know like it's it is this really surreal. happening <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean yeah 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 i mean at that time you know we've been going through some some struggles and and whatnot uh-huh. uh so this happening it was just like the icing on the cake oh, i mean wow. um I, I just couldn't believe that was happening. Uh, yeah. You know, so, so they, uh, they call in uh, to do the, the operation to put my, my neck, you know, my pick line in there and whatever this stupid thing is called uh, uh-huh. the, the line of my neck to do the dialysis. Okay. Um, so I'm freaking out. I call my wife or text her. She's at work. And then now she's freaking out because, you know, we had no idea. And she's like, what like in, in caps on text message because I couldn't call her <laughs> all in caps yeah yeah, yeah. so so you know um she, she was a teacher at the time okay so it, it wasn't as if I could call her you know so um uh, while, she's, while she's you know teaching or whatever right yeah yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. so so then uh she finally gets a right gets there um and then you know I, I go and, and they put the line in and I mean they, they try to put me under you know to put the line in and I was so in shock of everything that they couldn't knock me out uh, to do that. So I'm, I'm looking at the monitor as the, the guy is putting, the doctor is putting the line into my, uh, I guess it's my aorta or okay. whatever. All right. So, so, so I guess I could see the video of them pushing it and feeding it into my heart. So this is, this is real. I mean, people that do dialysis. Wow. You're, yeah, you're they, they, seeing that on a monitor? I'm watching, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the monitor. Wow. So he gets so close that it hits a nerve on my heart and my heart literally just like pulses. What? Like explodes. <laughs> yeah. What? And so I stayed still and I felt it. And uh, I said, yo, I mean, I know he's a doctor. I said, I, said yeah. yo, I don't know your name, but you just touched my heart and I don't know who you are. So he laughed about it a little bit and he goes, yeah, wow. I, 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 I told you jump. And it, it was wow. on EKG, you know, it, it showed it. So anyway, they put it in there. Um, I had to get uh, four pints of red blood cells to get my, my hemoglobin back up again. Wow. Um, and then on the fifth one, the fifth transfusion <laughs> is when I started doing nuts. the, yeah, fifth blood. I took five pints of red blood cells. Five uh, pints? Yeah, yeah. And, and they were doing the dialysis at the same time on the fifth one uh-huh. to cleanse out all the old blood. Um, and it, it was just, it was nuts, man. Cause that is you know, nuts. Yeah. So I, I know they say that it's a, you know, it's a silent killer. Some people really just don't know. I mean, I, I had, I had some bruises on my body. Uh, I was nauseous, um, but I just kept going. I mean, I went mm-hmm. until the end. I mean, until like, there was like almost septic, you know, <laughs> which is crazy yeah but after the after the third day of doing dialysis i mean i felt i felt better you okay know, um i felt good yeah um as, as good as i could feel anyway right you know, um, for, for what you're going through yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, oh my gosh, that is just I, I, shocking I, to me. Yeah, it, it was crazy. I mean, yeah, the monitor, yeah. seeing what's going on on the monitor while it's mm-hmm. happening. Yeah, I've got pictures of of that um, of the. I have pictures of the, of the actual thing going into my heart, and really? I, shared, I shared it one time. Yeah. So I shared it with Steve Belcher one time, um, uh-huh. and then I had a picture of them when they removed it. Um, so I, I, I'll have I'm to go, a, go back and watch on because you know he he has his live shows still on archive. Yeah. I'll have to go back and watch that show then. I I don't yeah. remember that. I'll have to go and rewatch that. That is not pictures are not on the show. I have the pictures on I'll, on Facebook. Um, oh okay, I get, I've got yeah, you. Yeah, I've shared them. I've shared them before on Facebook, uh-huh. and and uh, people will just they freak out when they see it because uh-huh. you know, it's, it's literally like, I don't know, 25 millimeters or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, and, and it goes straight into your, into your artery. Um, wow. yeah. So, so, and I chose, I chose to do, uh, I, I don't want the fistula or graft in my arm, uh, because I'm a, I'm a weightlifter. I was anyway. Yeah. And, uh, they, they told me that I could only lift like eight pounds with the graft or fistula. I said, no way, I, I can't do that. So they said, well, you could only keep this in your neck for like six months, I think it, what it was. Um, and I ended up keeping it there for 13 months. Okay. Um, so you had that you had that there for about 13 months. And yeah. do you still have that there or do you have? No. I have nothing, 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 nothing. I, I okay. I mean, so I, I was after, like a pin cushion. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as, so, so um, around the ninth month, uh, they had asked me if I wanted to do peritoneal dialysis uh-huh. uh, because I, you know, I was a young candidate. I still work uh, very active. And uh, so they explained to me what it was. And uh, I said, yes, I'll, I'll do that. So I ended up having the, the PD catheter inserted. So here I have a picture of that on Facebook as well, where I look like a pin cushion. You look I like have, a pin cushion. <laughs> yeah. I've got the catheter here and then I got the PD catheter in my belly uh-huh. and, and I'm, so talk about a, a warrior. I mean, you, we, we, we really do go through a lot of crap. A- absolutely. You know? That, that, <laughs> uh, that is, that is, uh, you know, and I, very few people, you know, uh, I've only encountered like, like I've only had one person not like that term, you know, and, you know, to each his own, you know, it, it, and I wasn't going to argue with the guy. He found it a little bit offensive because, you know, he, uh, because you know he, he thinks of warriors as maybe people that are in the military, you know. And, and I get, you know, no, yeah. I know. And and um, and, and again, I'm not going to necessarily. Everybody has their own opinion, but I totally right. like the term warriors, uh, yeah. and uh, and and it is exactly befitting because you do as a kidney disease warrior. Okay, you're fighting for your life every day, and I totally think it's. A, 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 it's a great term. It, it, it is a match. It, it's, yeah. you know, describes it through and through. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, with that picture that I took of, of both uh, catheters in me, um, I took a picture of a, of a, of a voodoo doll. And uh, I said, okay, whoever wow. has my voodoo doll, <laughs> voodoo y'all, doll. Can stop, <laughs> y'all can stop trying to kill me because I know nowhere. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know I, I just made light of it and people thought I yeah. think I'm crazy, you know, when I do these type of things, but it's just my way of no, uh, you know, you know, pushing through and, and getting right. through a lot of things. Absolutely. And there's no, there's nothing wrong with that because you all, yeah. I think that you have to have your own way of doing things. And especially mm-hmm. when something like this is extremely difficult. Okay. It is, uh, yeah. you know, that if you can in any way, okay, smile about it. Okay. There's nothing. In fact, I think there's something right about it. If you can smile about it, because oh, yeah. if you can find joy, not in the circumstance. Okay. You know, if you can just find joy and just, you know, if that makes sense. Okay. Is that yeah, you're yeah. not, you're not joyful because you have kidney disease, but right. you're joy, you're joyful because you have uh, confidence or you have love for yourself or your life or for your loved ones, you know, this, that, and the other. And if you can find joy in anything that's going on that's hard, that's awesome. 
because it can pull you through. So I, I think that if you can smile and make light, not necessarily of the situation, but make it light hearted so that you're right. going through it and, and you're pulling through it with a smile. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, the times, there are times that are rough, you know, but uh, for instance, you know, there was one time I had um, peritonitis. And, oh, uh, really? Okay. Yeah. So it was, it was wow. very painful. And, and when you go to the ER for something like that, a lot of times there's not a nephrologist on duty. It's mostly people that, that deal with wounds yeah. and, and fevers and those type of things. Uh, okay. So when, when they figured out it was my, my PD catheter that was making me sick, they wanted uh-huh. to yank it out of me. You know, so when, know, you, Manny, that thing. when you had, when you had that going on, because yeah. I have, uh, we're uh, Jeff, my twin brother and I, he and I have another person that we're advocating for Liz and she, she's just recently had that about two or three weeks ago. Can, mm-hmm. can you help describe how you felt when you had that happen? I mean, was it, it's just a, a, a pain and it's really not your fault. This is how it always explained. Yeah. Um, you know, and you're just in a, in a pain, um, all in your, in your midsection because your, your peritoneal cavity is what, what I was told it, it, it's filled with water basically. And it houses all of your organs, you know? So wow. when there's a, uh, when there's a virus in there, um, because you have a foreign object yeah. and the catheter, it sits at the bottom of the, of the cavity. Right. Um, okay. Gotcha. And it's, a, it's a screen. So what, what happened is when you fill the, the cavity up with dextrose, which is the fluid that we uh-huh. use for, for PD. For PD. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the, de- the dextrose is basically sugar water. Uh-huh. So sugar absorbs all the toxins or as much as it can and fluid from your body and pulls it into your, your cavity. Okay. Um, and then from there, it comes out of the tube uh, into your, your, your waste to your, you know, your waste um, bag or into your sink or what have you. Mm-hmm. So as, as far as the, the peritonitis, I mean, it, it is, it's very painful. Um, I had it two times and, wow. and they, a lot of times people have to get it yanked out because of that. And I said, no, I'll go through the treatment. So I went through some hard um, antibiotics, you know, mm-hmm. uh, to, to get rid of it. Okay. Um, but, but what I was getting at is the, the nurse at the hospital uh, at Sacker Hospital here in, in Houston, um, she's like, what? I said, I don't want to take it off because I, I, I know it's working and, and, and I believe I'm going to get a, a transplant. And uh, she's like, are you on the list? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm on the list. And uh, she's like, well, how do you know you're going to get a transplant? I said, because I, I know, you know, and, and uh, she just couldn't, she couldn't grasp it that, that I knew that I was going to get a transplant. Okay. And uh, I said, I said like, I'm, I'm a Christian man. And if, if I have to believe this, if, yeah. if I mean, otherwise, why am I why going to Christian? Yeah. Why, why call my, you know, so, so I, and, and she, I don't think she was a Christian, but um, she heard that and it really made her think, you know, if you, if you believe and, and, and you're a Christian, you, you have to push on. Yeah. You know? um, so that's, that's what, you know, really pushed me through was, was my, my faith, you know, and, and uh, uh, honestly, my friends, my network, uh, my circle. Um, and, and I'll explain how I got the transplant. It was because of my circle. Uh, I didn't have nobody to, there, there was not one person, uh, that went and tried to uh, be a match, no matter how much I tried to, ask. Wow. um, I, I had three people that wanted to, uh, but they chickened out, you know, and, and I was, oh, hum- I was humbled. I was humbled that they wanted to do it. Yeah. And I, I get that there's a fear in doing it. Yeah. Um, but when you're somebody that is needing that, you know, you know, there's so much stuff that goes in your brain. Like, like, man, um, I was mad, you know, dude, you, you, you backed out. You just, you know, so uh, friendships came and gone. Um, and, and I, I just still knew, I said, it's going to come around. It'll come around. And, uh, so, so yeah, it, it eventually did come around. Um, and and that's a <laughs> that's a testimony, you know. If you're Absolutely, ready to do yeah, um, man. I, I, and I, I, you know, and, and people don't quite understand. And I and I, I, will, I applaud you for, for keeping your faith, okay, and holding on to that because, man, when you're going through something as difficult 
uh, as kidney disease, it can get you down on your knees. Yeah. All right. It yeah. can get you discouraged. It can get you frustrated. It can mm-hmm. get you so down on life that you may not want to get out of bed. And your yeah. faith, it sounds like helped you. And that's awesome. It's uplifting. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that you, you know, had that faith that was so strong that you, that you knew, okay, mm-hmm. that you didn't hope, all right, yeah. that your faith had strengthened so much that it had become a knowledge and that you said you yeah. knew that you were going to get a transplant. Yeah. Bro, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and there, um, there's a Christian station out that, that uh, we listen to uh, basically all our lives, but for some reason, it just, um, for like the, those two years or so, I listened to this Christian station a, a lot. Uh-huh. And, and there was just lyrics that would come on that I had heard, you know, hundreds of times. Okay, um, is it different than Caleb? Is it something that's... It's, it's like Caleb, it's like Caleb, okay. but it's local. It's KSBJ. Okay, uh, all right. And th- they've been around longer than Caleb. Caleb is uh-huh. more of a conglomerate, uh, you know, multi-cities. And, and I like Caleb as well, but uh, KSBJ is locally owned and operated. Um, so there's uh-huh. uh, light Christian music, and then they have uh, more uh, of the rap for the younger people as well. All right, uh, so on. Like something I, like I was Bizzle going back or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. So so NF Bizzle and and all these nice. uh, the one 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 six click all this stuff. Um, gotcha. And, right on. Uh, my son and I, all, my whole family, really we, we really dig all that music. So yeah, um, I like Andy Manio as well. Yeah, I mean, I like yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Uh-huh. So um, here I was really listening to the lyrics of of both um, like worship music and to uh, like Andy Minio. Actually. Andy Minio's song "You Can't Stop Me" yes. was real popping at the time. Oh, I love and that man, joy! I do. I love that joy. Yeah, so I would get just really hyped up, and uh-huh. I say, "You you can't stop me," you know. Yeah. Um, so that's really one of the songs that got me through. Um, and then Lecrae and Tori Kelly, they have a song where um, basically God is saying, you know, um, I'll I'll be there, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll think of the song in a minute. But lyrics just really got me. Um, and then even like or the Phillips Craig and Dean or somebody says, you know, even, or third day, I forgot. I think it's third day. Uh, even through the storm, you know, I'll, I'll still worship you basically okay. or whatever. Yeah. And, and, and uh, I was trying to look up on YouTube real quick, but I, I don't want to be rude about no. that. <laughs> um, but, but just lyrics just started hitting me, man. And, and I just said, you know, um, and then I, I, would, I would be in dialysis and, and the same earbuds I had on, um this is when i was doing chemo in center and and i was blessed i'm honestly blessed to have a team uh that worked with me that were christian ladies and uh uh, one of the nurses who would one of the techs would come around and she would touch me and she would pray for me she was Uh an african african lady yeah from africa i love that yeah so she would touch me and and she'd pray with me and um you know I, i just couldn't believe it so uh, the, the, the three ladies on my team, but that were my techs and my nurses, they were really amazing. And, uh, um, you know, I, I just, I owe so much to my close circle that I just prayed. And, and they, they were the nurses as well. I mean, uh-huh. um, I, I wouldn't be here. I, I know that, um, you know, so, so yeah, there's, and, and then the transplant came, you know, and that, like I said, is just a, a, <laughs> a story written by God. You know, very nice, man. That's that's a, a great story of triumph, you know, and especially mm-hmm. how it's uh, interwoven with your faith. Uh, I really dig that because faith is strong within myself and and it is with yeah. Edley Moan as well. And so I, I'd love to hear stories like that, you know, and it sounds like it's really, uh, you know, it's been a part of your life, you know, mm-hmm. ever since you were probably younger. Um, yeah. Was, yeah. was it your, you know, was it your parents your family that introduced you to your faith or how did you grow your faith so that you, it has been such a, a a great part of your life now oh man don't make me cry um so my my dad um hold on <laughs> yeah so um, he passed away 
this this past May. Um, oh, wow. Just, uh, uh, a, a freak accident um, just took us all by by surprise. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you know, as as a kid, I, I was a, a little rebellious, and and it wasn't like I was out doing drugs and doing stupid crap. Mm-hmm. It was mostly uh, rap music and and things that made him mad because it wasn't godly. Um, so here, him and I would get arguments about just just dumb things, and. All he would do um, was he would just uh, throw scriptures at me, you know, and and I would say, man, just just be my dad. Why why do you got to keep throwing, you know, the the gospel at me? Yeah. Then and, and he said, that's that's all I know. So you know this. I got the transplant before he passed away, but <clears throat> as I got older, I started realizing, you know, and, and, and now I have teenagers. Okay. So, so now I'm going through this rebellious stage, you know, with them. All but, right. <clears throat> so the, the faith that I got, I think it, it all came from, from, from him. Okay. You know, him, him being consistent um, with his walk with God, you know, and um, wow, what an example I, he's been for you. Yeah, I, it, it was. I mean, he he was like it, it's just it's just too close. I think May was just a few a few months ago. Yeah. Um. So so I mean I'm I'm the third. So he was Manuel Junior. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, so we. We were, we were close as I was growing up, and then as time grew on, you know, I, I, he lived in, in, in Denver, like I said, and, and I live here. So we kind of just, communication started separating because I had my whole family to deal with. Yeah. You know, he's dealing with, you know, his, his stuff over there. And um, so, so back to the, the faith part, it, it's all attributed to, you know, how, how I was brought up. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I came from a, a divorced family. And my mom wasn't in church, you know, uh, at the time. And then, you know, he was in church the whole time. Yeah. So I was that kid that could choose, you know, which the dark side or the light side, like Luke Skywalker, I could have chosen which way to go. Mm-hmm. Um, and I walked the line. There was a lot of times that I did walk the line. But um, that didn't mean I wasn't. No, we all do that. Christian. We, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean. So, so I just asked for forgiveness and, and just got back on the track, you know, got back on track. And, um, so, so that's where my faith really came from. Um, and, you know, as I, as I was saying, uh, the, the transplant thing, um, it, it came from, from faith. I mean, um, you know, I, I prayed about it and, um, uh, I had met some people, you know, on, online throughout the years. And then uh, when they found out about my about my kidney issue, um, one lady messaged me out of the blue, and um, you know she said, "Hey, can I call you real quick?" Um, I said, "Sure." So she she messaged me, and then she called me, and uh, coming to find out, her sister in law had a, a brain aneurysm. Wow! Um, so wow, she wanted to know she wanted to know what hospital I was registered at. And I said at Herman Memorial, you know, in the medical center in Houston. Wow. And uh, and she said that's where we are right now. What? Said, oh man. What? So, so she was still alive, but just wow. brain dead. Right. So right. They, they kept they kept her organs going, and uh, so I gave her my coordinator's yeah. information, you know, <sighs> and and uh, uh, the coordinator uh, called me up, you know, the, the next day, and, and then said, okay, we're doing the we're checking it out. Uh, the, the family chose you as a designated donor. Uh-huh. Um, so basically, I skipped 40,000 people that are in line um, just because of, of a friend, you know, who, uh-huh. who thought about, about me. Right. Um, uh, wow. And, wow. Yeah. 
So, so this was in December of 2017, uh-huh. uh, December 7th, I think it would've was. And then, uh, so December 8th came around and, um, my wife and I had gone to her management party at, at work and her boss, you know, offered me a cigar and some, and some whiskey. Um, and I said, I, I can't drink right now because I'm waiting for a phone call. I might be getting a phone call. Uh, and and I don't think he believed me. Okay, you know, he all thought, right. He just thought I was being kind and you know saying no, thank you. Yeah. Um. So then the next day, um, I'm still waiting for the phone call, right? Um, uh, and and I called them because I was a patient, and they said, okay, we're still testing the antibodies and this and that, and I didn't know what antibodies were. So the okay. next day, the next day we go to the 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 whole company party. The first party was just for the management party. All right. Second night, it was a full party. So here he comes again and with the cigar in hand and whiskey. He said, here you go. I know you said no last night. I said, man, I, I can't. I said, I'm still, I'm waiting for that call. I, I believe it's going to come. And uh, he's like, what? okay, I, I got it. I, I got you. You don't want to drink. Uh-huh. Um, so so his son, um, he's not a kid. He's, you know, 25, 20 years old or whatever. Yeah. Uh, had it, Had his phone up on the Bluetooth speaker and the DJ was setting up the, 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 the sound or whatever. Uh, so the son was playing music on the Bluetooth uh, speaker. Uh, well, he got a phone call and he had to disconnect and walk away. So I was like, let me play some music. Cause I got some jams. Well, you know, so All right. I put, I put my phone up and, and we're listening to some music for like, you know, 10 minutes. Well, then my phone starts ringing. And I was like, oh, man, 713-704, that's the hospital number. You recognize so picked, the area code, okay. Yeah, I picked it up real quick, and um, it was the lady, uh, and she's like, uh, Mr. Ramirez, um, this is so-and-so from the, clin- uh, from the hospital. Uh, do you want the kidney? And uh, I was like, why, why are you asking me? And she's like, she laughs. She's like, well, if you say no, I got to go to the next person on the list. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Oh! I was like, yes, I want the kidney. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was like Mission Impossible. She was like, okay, here's your instructions. You know, so she went through the whole gamut of, of instructions. And mind you, we were just there for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh-huh. And my wife is still walking around saying hello to all of her friends and everything. Yeah. And, and her boss is next to me. Um, and she kind of got a glimpse as to what, what happened. But I didn't want to tell her because I don't want, I didn't want her to know before my wife knew. Uh-huh. So... I'm all trying to wave my wife down, and, <laughs> and you know, and then I'm like, oh, I, wow. I got it. I'm like, like, I got it, you know, trying to tell her. And then finally she comes up to me and, and I told her, so she gives me a hug and everything. And, and, uh, Oh, uh, wow. What, what kind then, of, what kind of emotions are going on with, you know, at that moment with your wife? She, well, she, she was crying. Um, wow. and what I thought, I thought was hilarious was she told her friends, and they're telling her congratulations. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> they're telling her it's congratulations. Me. <laughs> it's me. But, you know, I let her have her moment. And, and yeah. uh, it, it was fun. I mean, you know, they were very uh, kind, you know, um, and, and praying. They said they, they pray for us and everything. And uh, so we, we rushed home, uh, made phone calls to my mom or somebody, I forgot who had the kids, um, and told them, hey, we got to go to the hospital. So ran home and got the bag. We didn't have a bag pack. We just packed a quick bag. Uh, of course, got a cell phone and chargers and stuff and, and, and everything and um, uh, got to the hospital and, and then uh, went up to the room and um, here the late, my friend was texting me, you know, the sister, the, the one who uh, had uh, offered me the, the kidney basically and uh, <laughs> telling me, telling me about her, her sister-in-law. Yeah, was about to go to surgery, so they were there, but we just crossed paths. Like I didn't see her because she was okay. in one spot, I was in another spot. Uh huh. And um, I didn't see my friend. I, I, of course, I wanted to see her to give her a big old hug. And right. Everything. Yeah. Um, but I go to my room and I'm preparing for the next day, and they give you the special stuff to put on your body to cleanse it or whatever. Um, so I'm doing all that, and I'm looking at the clock, and it's like 10:59. And uh, I'm like, wow, you know, she's about to go into surgery. And, and and they're like, who? I was like, the lady that I'm getting my kidneys from. And they're like, what are you talking about? So I told them the quick story. And they're like, you know more about this lady than we do. And where are your nurses? You know, and uh, I said, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy how it worked out that way. Yeah. Um, but so the next morning, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm 
I'm chunky. I mean, I, I, I put on like 40 pounds since the transplant, uh, but the chief surgeon came in uh, while I was in the waiting area to go get the surgery, introduced himself, and uh, he's like, you're lucky you got me. <laughs> Why? Like, what? what did he mean lucky? by that? Well, because he had to go through so much fatty tissue to get to the, to the organs. Oh, and, uh, okay. It, they they kind of didn't want to do it, but because I pressed so hard, I mean, I, I was pushing and pushing. That's one thing that people that are on dialysis that are on the on the transplant list, you got to push these doctors, man. I mean, I, I I'm not afraid, and I, yeah, I'm a, Speak I'm a up, salesman. Right? Yeah. yeah, I'm a salesman, and if I'm gonna sell something, I'm gonna sell me to get my my body. Sell yourself, fixed. yeah. Yeah. So um, so that the that that chief it was the chief surgeon i mean the dude has done everything uh-huh. so him going and and they he put the kidney in me uh the one thing i didn't know is that they don't take out your old kidneys because it's too much of a hassle basically yeah they, they leave, leave it there, yeah. in there. Uh-huh. so as long as there's no uh polycystic fibrosis or cancer right. or whatever yeah uh, on there they gotcha. just leave it in there right so i so I have, you know, those two kidneys in there and, 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 um, they're just little tiny beans now, I guess they shrivel up. <laughs> right. Uh, but, but man, the next, you know, after the next eight hours or when they're, well, I don't think the, tra- the transplant took maybe two, three hours. But when I got to the, the room, back to my room, I was already urinating within like 30 minutes. Wow. And, uh, I just, I couldn't, and they pulled out the PD catheter at the same time. Really? I was like, are you sure? Yeah. I was like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, you're done. You, you know, we we did our job. <laughs> like they were confident. <laughs> and, and, and they, they were, were confident, confident that it was functioning already. And so they felt yeah. like they could pull that out. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So they did that. And, um, uh, you know, I just, I, I rested for like two days uh, and, and kept producing urine and my creatinine. I mean, it was skyrocketed before, you know, and, mm-hmm. and it had come down to like the, like one point, seven or 1.5 um and I'm not sure you know Bob yeah. Bannon, but uh-huh. you know her, her her baseline was like a, a 1.9 yeah. um so a little on the high side uh, you know people like 0.75 they, the lower the better right but I'm here I'm functioning I'm good yeah um you know so so now mine fluctuates between like 1.85 to like 2.2 you know um and and uh so so yeah that it it, it worked out, you know, thankfully. And, and I'm, I'm so thankful that, that it, it worked out. And, uh, my doctors, they get up my nerves sometimes because they're on top of me all the time. Um, and I know it's just because they, they care about my health, you know, right. they just want to make they sure that well. everything. Yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah, man, that's, that's my, that's that part. Um, you know, and of course they're, they're still, once you get the, tra- the, the transplant, you're not done. No, um, not at all. If you go oh. to the, yeah, if you go to the archives and see that the the uh, the video I did with Steve Belcher, um, uh-huh. I was in the hospital at the time. You know, I didn't know it was gonna, when we set up the meeting uh, for the date. You know, I had to go to the hospital because I was showing rejection, and um, no, so they wow. wanted to they yeah they wanted to get that under control right away, and uh, so they they have uh, protocol. You know, they have things to do to help get things back on track again, uh-huh. and. Uh, so I've already shown two times, you know, and, uh, they just plug you up and, and pump you full of, uh, prednisone, you know, and so I got that prednisone phase and, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, but, but they do what they do. And, and, yeah. uh, I mean, it, I don't care. I mean, right. I mean, you're living, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, yeah. <sighs> I mean, the, the, the first treatment they did on me, um, is called plasma phoresis and, uh, okay. uh, it, it's basically to wipe out all your white blood cells. Uh-huh. And um, they wanted to see how I would react before they gave me some Benadryl to, to see how it would react. Well, okay. they, they pumped it in me and, and I was shivering, uh, like freezing cold. Because and, you're uh, fevered said, or how, why were you shivering? Well, they said because that, that's kill, it's killing the white blood cells. Okay, so that's gotcha. The reaction, oh. That's the reaction your body that's goes true. through. All right, uh, it's your and, natural reaction because you, yeah, it's almost like yeah. you're in shock, maybe. Right, right. So I went through that, and then the next day the, the doctor comes in and uh, they said, "Well, you you reacted to it." Um, I said, "Well, did it work?" And they said, "Yeah, you're you're showing signs of improvement." I said, "Well, let's do it again." Okay. And, like, 
They're like, you're crazy. I said, no. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do it again. Right. So, you know, I said, I don't care you're what like... you got to do. <laughs> yeah, I said, I don't care what you got to do. I said, let's go. So um, this time, you know, they, they were prepared for it, and they, they put 50, 50 cc's of Benadryl straight into my neck. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm not sure if you ever drank tequila, but it was like taking five shots of tequila all at one time. So oh, wow. The, the Benadryl just literally just like <laughs> knocked me out. And, and uh, you know, <clears throat> but, you know, I, like I said, I, I always try to make light of everything. Um, yeah. But, but, you know, every, every month, every two months, I got to go to the clinics and I got to, you know, be checked on. Uh, and I have no problem with that at all. I mean, yeah. um, if, if it is this way for however long i mean so be it you know i became friends with like the, the dietitian at that at the clinic um or the transplant center it's not a clinic it's a transplant center right um, i know what you mean and even the, there's one i have two doctors actually i have three doctors uh two that speak to me a lot uh-huh. one who her and i we speak very uh educated toward each other you know i speak i uh, she thinks she can get over me but i'm kind of i'm well versed as well so um and then there's another one who she's just cool. I mean, she's like, "What's up, man? I ain't seen you in a minute." So, you oh, know, we wow. so you bonded yeah. then, man. You've had a good yeah, report. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you know, um, I'm just super thankful uh, that 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 I have them, you know, with me. Um, so, you know, I've been I've been in a lot of groups on Facebook uh, for dialysis, and uh, I've been kicked out of groups in dialysis. <laughs> you know, that's okay. Uh, you know, because, I appreciate that you speak your mind. Yeah, it, it, because if I share my testimony, people be like, oh, this isn't a Christian group, or oh, we can't oh, do well, that Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, 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 not at all. I mean, I'm like, you, you know, whatever it is that you can grasp onto to help you yeah. get through your get through your circumstance. And, and my grasp, well, it, it was, was my family, faith. you know, and God. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was God and my family. That's who, that's who. Oh, was, my gosh. That you know, is that uh, as as a person of faith, that infuriates me when I hear that yeah. that people may say, "Hey, listen, you can't talk about your faith." Yeah. What yeah. is what is that about society now that 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 somehow okay we can talk about we can talk about other things, but somehow faith is now being discouraged. That I don't. It's not. That's that is. Not, I mean. That is nuts. That is, it shouldn't yeah. be like that. Okay. Yeah. If I, if someone thinks that they can talk about, you know, um, their faith and it means something mm-hmm. to them where it, it literally is something that they're passionate about that is giving them strength. Mm-hmm. Then why, yeah. what's the harm in talking about that? There shouldn't be any there's, harm about that. There's not. And, and, I'll tell you one thing when you, you keep saying faith, faith, and, and um, what, what I know is, is faith without works is dead. Absolutely. Right? I totally agree so wholeheartedly. People, yeah, I mean, it's in the Bible. I mean, yeah, and people, it's the truth. Uh, people, they'll say, um, wait upon the Lord. So yeah. they, they say either one of them, right? Wait yeah. upon the Lord or, or faith without works is dead. Mm-hmm. Well, I live by faith without works is dead. When I said we were having problems before my kidney, it was financial problems, you know, and, um, we were embedded in church and, and uh, there were times that we couldn't pay tithes. We couldn't pay, you know, we couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. But what we did was we donated our time. I mean, I, okay. I was working audio visual. I was doing the camera work. I was doing social media. Okay. Uh, so you're then, donating your time. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. then my wife and I were doing uh, the child children ministry. Yeah. Uh, helping out, you know, Sunday school. Uh-huh. And, and then it was just like a revelation. I said, you know, I couldn't give my money. I said, but I could give my time. You could do something so like, else. So, so, that, so, it's like so your faith was not me. dead. Your faith is yeah. not dead because you're showing movement and action and yeah. you're, you're doing something which yeah. involves, which involves, you know, putting forth, you know, energy and it's showing mm-hmm. God that you, that you believe and that, that, that yeah. strengthens your faith. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that's what I believe that, that, uh, that was our blessing was time mm-hmm. you know i gave time and 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 then he pressed it and gave it back to me yeah you know and and uh so so that's 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 my that's my story i mean now 
um, you know, I, I'm, I'm here, I'm still alive. And, um, you know, I, I just, so, if I could just get people to, to see that as yeah. well, you know, um, and I know, I know not everybody's, not everybody's Christian, you know, uh, but that's just my story. And, and if, if, if I could help somebody realize that, that, you know, Jesus, Jesus was, is my savior and that's who yeah. helped me uh -huh. get through it, then, then maybe I could win a soul to Jesus. I don't know. Um, no. if not, then, then find your, find Amen your wife. You know. Amen. Cause it, it, I, and I, 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 I commend you and, and, and I, I don't, I don't hide my faith either, brother. I don't. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know, uh, again, I, I don't believe in doing that and I won't, I won't, you know, uh, I, 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 I talk about it on warrior's quest and I'll talk about it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I commend you and, and, and I applaud you. Okay. If, if that has helped you and strengthened you, amplified your attitude and has given you a pillar of strength throughout your journey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then great. And, and if that has helped you, and if you can share that with somebody else and that somebody else gets uplifted and encouraged, mm -hmm. man, I'll tell you what, you're giving somebody hope, brother. <laughs> yeah, that is, and that's what, that is awesome. We, yeah. Just last week, the, uh, our, our pastors spoke about hope. It's like an anchor, yes. you know, and, and you toss an anchor overboard and you have no idea what it's going to grab onto yeah. underwater because you can't see it. Right. You, you know, don't. um, so, so I, I just threw my anchor and, and I said, I know, I know God's going to do it. I know it, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 but yeah, I, I tell you what, uh, I, I get all these things that pop in my head. I mean, I, I just, all the time. Um, I'm not sure if you know, who, if, uh, you know, who Joyce Myers is. Um, no, uh, she's a, a white lady, a preacher goes around all over the world. Okay. Really short hair, uh -huh. uh, comes on TBN all the time. Uh, all right. kind of has a raspy voice. Um, if you've seen it, you'll probably recognize who she is. Probably, uh, yeah. But but she said something to me, and that I've been to a conference of hers, and and it, two things. Uh, one thing just struck me, okay. and uh, she she said basically, it doesn't matter what happens to you in life. It, uh -huh. it doesn't matter. It don't matter if if you are raped as 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 a woman, molested as a child, uh, a burn victim. Oh, any anything kidney disease brain cancer yeah it it's how you react it's how you react to it and and that really pushed it pushed me to keep moving forward mm -hmm. you know um because it, i can't hate god that because of what happened to me i mean it's high blood pressure that did it yeah and it's a it's a it's a scientific fact that high blood pressure is a leading cause it besides is. you know diabetes right uh, Those are the that, two. that caught Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I didn't know hindsight 2020. Now I can be a, an advocate. Um, but it's how I reacted to it, you know, and, and, uh, I just kept on, I just kept on going, yeah. you know? Um, so that's really a, a lot of the things that I, that have put pressed me to keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. They are, it's, it's just, it's just, it's God, man. I mean, that's, it is. Yeah, you know, I um, it, it is what it is. <laughs> it, it is what it is, and I love it. I do. I'm I'm all over that, and and I, 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 I you know, I'm so glad we connected again, Manny, because I, I my faith drives me too, and uh, I, you know, I don't believe in coincidences, and mm -hmm. I think that with what ha what my sister in law has has gone through that has driven me towards doing this and, and doing what I do. Okay. I, I see it as a calling. All right. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I see that God has given me a calling and I just don't believe it's coincidence. And yeah, man, yeah. I use it. And that's, I, that's good. Yeah. And I, 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 man, I'm so glad we connected because I think that we have a lot in common in regards to mm -hmm. our faith and, and how it drives us and gives us hope and, and how we move forward. And I'm, I'm, Happy that it's given you, you know, an opportunity to move forward as well. You know, I don't know if you've seen this, but it looks like Ed and Rachel, they, 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 they do know, or they're familiar with Joyce. And, and yeah, I thought, I yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, says Joyce is an awesome teacher of the word. And then Ed yeah. said, Joyce keeps it real. <laughs> <laughs> she does, man. You got to, you got to watch her. And um, that, that's, yeah, that's, she's amazing. I mean, uh -huh. um, 
she tells you how it is. I mean, and if you hear her testimony, the, the reason why she said it doesn't matter what happens to you is because, um, and, and, and I, I bet you Rachel knows too, uh, uh -huh. when she, when she was younger, her dad molested and, and raped her, you know, wow. um, and it took her, it took her many years to oh, wow. forgive him, uh -huh. to forgive him. Uh, and then I think she brought him on hit on his ministry on staff or something. And then uh, again, he did, you know, like he, I forgot <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, but anyway, you know, yeah. in the, she's like, it doesn't matter what happens to you. You uh -huh. know, um, it, it's how you react. It's how you so react. She forgave, she forgave her dad, you know, and, and, and I believe they became close again. Yeah. You know, um, so it, it's, it's, uh, it was a lesson that I had to, you know, learn from and I'm still learning from it, you know, um, but that's, it just, it that sounds inspiring yeah. though. I mean, I, it is, it's yeah. gotta be, uh, I mean, it's almost unfathomable to, comprehend how to forgive somebody who's done something like that, you know, and yeah. for her to have, yeah. to, for her to have done that, uh, must've been mm -hmm. extremely difficult. That's yeah. wow. I mean, that's, that's, uh, the only, that's the only way that someone can really do that is through the power of Jesus, because, you know, yeah. he's the one who for, has forgiven many people, even the mm -hmm. adulteress, you know, and many different examples of how he forgives and loves everybody unconditionally, you know, despite mm -hmm. what they've done. He doesn't love sin, but loves the sinner. And exactly. that's awesome. Yep. 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 So, but well, yeah, that's my story. And, and now, I mean, I just, uh, just living life, you know, making clothes and, um, doing Uber and all kind of stuff. I can to just an entrepreneur, man. Just do that's what I awesome. Do, you know? That's awesome, yeah. man. I love that. I love that you do you and that you're overcoming and, what would you say, you know, what would you say to, to people, you know, kidney warriors that are searching for a kidney donor right now, people like Ed uh, or others, what would you say to them? What kind of advice would you give them? Um, keep, you know, okay. I, I see that Ed is, is a Christian dude. Just keep God first. I mean, um, you know, if, okay. Here's the hard part, and, and, and it's hard to say, but if if Ed died tomorrow and he kept and he was a Christian dude today, he knows where he's gonna go. Yeah, you know exactly. But but what I know is is this: you find your why, find your purpose. You know, and and mine was in my kids and, and my wife, my family. I, I'm I, I'm a family guy. We love to go on vacations, doing all that stuff. Um, and and I just held on to that. You know, mm -hmm. I held on to to that and um. Like I said, when, when I put it out there for people to donate a, a, a kidney, it didn't happen for me that way. It was, it was, God had a, a whole different plan, you know? So, you know, I pray that the social media works for Ed. I, I really do. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll, I'll keep Ed in my prayers now and, 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 uh, you know, and, and your sister, what did your sister-in-law, um, you know, these are, I, I'm going to know with you probably, I'll probably start meeting a lot more people, um, which means I have to get a prayer journal. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will do that. Um, and, and I, I really do, man. I, I really, I, I really pray that, that, that Ed gets, because once you, once you get a kidney, not only does your faith get renewed, that's probably the first thing that gets renewed before, yeah, you, before your body does, gotcha. you know, because you know, you'll, you'll feel in your spirit, you'll feel amazing. You know, like, wow, you know, thank God it happened. Um, and that's just, that's just the reality of it. Um, but just have to live your life, you know, just have to live your life that way. You have to yeah. live your life that, 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 you know, if I'm gone tomorrow, I wake up, I'll be on the streets of glory. I mean, I'll be, uh -huh. I'll be with him. I'll be with my old family. I'll be with my yeah. grandma. I'll be with whoever, you know? Um, so you have to just keep the faith real, keep it real. Um, and, and, and just the days you're here makes them worthwhile. Gotcha. So, uh, wow. I like that. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, uh, love life, live life. I mean, I, I made this hat. I, I designed a logo. I mean, if, if you give me Ed info or just think of thing, um, oh, cool. I'll send, I'll send him a hat. Um, you know, it's, it's the, the green thing on there. Uh -huh, the, yeah. That's for kidney yeah. disease. Right. All right. Yeah. Right on. So if just give me his info and I'll, I'll mail him a hat. Okay. Um, we'll do that. 
I don't know yeah. if it's green or orange because I know I always get confused between green and orange. <laughs> which, which one is which? <laughs> yeah, I green don't care. is for kidney disease, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, my wife was always having to remind me, but I'm like, I don't care. Whatever. They're just they're both <laughs> bad. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So. But but yeah, man. Just uh, if you put me in touch with them, I'll I'll send him a hat. Um, well, and and just so he, that that way he knows that 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 I'm praying for him. Um, absolutely. You know, yeah, let's do let's really. do that. Cool, cool. But uh, but yeah, that's me, man. That's all me. Well, it's been awesome, bro. Seriously, uh, thank you for coming on and, and doing this broadcast today. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, you see the uh, the banner there. Ed says, "Cool, thank you." And you know, uh, he and Rachel are are, are great people. Um, you know, God fearing people, they're people of faith. And, and I'm, uh, I am very thankful myself that you've been able to share your story and uplift us, give us, you know, uh, your story. Uh, I've been uplifted and uh, I'm sure everybody else has and, and everybody else will be after they watch this replay. And so mm. God bless brother. Thank you. And I'd love to bring you on as a co-host on Warriors Quest. I'd love to do that. Seriously. That'd be awesome. Honestly, that'd be great. I mean, I, okay. I, I want to, I've always, I, even I told Steve before I, there's something I, I need to do uh, yeah. just to be an advocate. And mm-hmm. I have a weird way of pushing people, but um, I try to motivate people. I mean, because if I could do it, yeah. you know, if, if I can do it, anybody, uh-huh. can do it. I mean, you know, it, and so I, I've been down the road, I've, I've been pricked, poked, prodded, everything, <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, so I've been there, done that, and uh, and thank God I'm still here. All right. Well, God bless you, man. Seriously, thank Likewise. you very much uh, for thank coming on, uh, for doing this for Ed, uh, and and giving your side of the story and everything. I, I wish you success and on all of your in, entrepreneur endeavors and and in life. And I hope that God continues to bless you. Cool, man. Thank you so much. All right. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Talk to you soon, brother. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody, we heard from Manny Ramirez, and man, what an inspiring, what an inspiring story. I don't know about you, but I've been fed today. Man, I've been fed today. I feasted spiritually on what he's given me, and I'm so thankful that he's been able to to give us his story. Very, very thankful. Man, this has been awesome. Thank you for, for watching. But more importantly, thank you for supporting Ed Limon. Please, okay, in order to support him, continue, all right, to share this broadcast as well as any of the other posts so that we can continue to reach other people, other people that may not have already been reached by having heard about his story. All right, thank you again. God bless. Hope you have a great day. Peace. I'm out.